Hi everyone, Jared here. Time for the market video update. We've had some pretty, some pretty interesting movements this late morning, early afternoon. Uh, it's been a little bit choppy and sideways, but we had some fantastic breakouts during the UK session. Uh, so we really were able to grab some good pips out of that. But let's have a little quick peek uh, at how the markets went. The Dow ended up just a little bit in the negative. Not not bad. S&P, same thing. Uh, gold has recovered quite a bit, and oil has actually recovered quite a bit. We saw oil all the way down at 101, uh, and it's back up above 103, and gold is just kind of uh, in this recovery zone. Gold got all the way down to about 1610-ish, uh, and it's come back quite a bit. We've had a lot of news today. Uh, interest rates for the U.K., uh, employment numbers for Canada, just a lot of things going on. Uh, I think everyone was trying to kind of cram because we have all this bank holiday stuff coming in uh, today and tomorrow. Uh, the U.S. is really the only ones that aren't having a big bank holiday uh, for the weekend. And in fact, we're having non-farm payroll tomorrow morning, so we're going to see how that goes. Uh, but everyone else is on holiday, on vacation. We're not going to have a U.K. session tonight because I just don't think there's going to be any movement. Uh, but we might have some uh, some tomorrow morning after the uh, news for uh, non-farm payroll, so we'll keep our eye on that. Uh, dollar index still kind of bouncing around. Hold on to this trend line right here. We can see just above 80 now. It's been bouncing around 70, got a little bit below 79, a little bit above 79, really just bouncing around there. Finally broke 80. We'll see if it can now break this little trend line that's kind of coming through here. It would need to get above. Uh, we, we need to see clearance of 81 uh, to really get some some big momentum on there. So we're going to keep our eye on that. Uh, here is our, our situation, our setup from last night. Uh, this was from the notes and the daily video yesterday. Above 131.65, buy. And uh, it actually tested that. It almost got almost got there, but not quite. Uh, and below 131.30, uh, sell. And we saw 131.30 break. We got into this last night with the group. It was also posted in the video. It was also posted in the notes. And you can see that that initial run was good for 70 pips, ultimately made a 90 pip run. Uh, it hasn't really gone anywhere since. So now, now markets are just kind of bouncing around here. But we made some really good pips on that euro dollar last night. Same thing on the euro yen. We'll look at that in just a moment. Now it's just kind of chopping around the channel. Remember, everyone's kind of creeping into holiday weekend mode. And so things are going to get a little bit quiet. Um, but we, we're, we're, we're going to come into some pretty strong support right around the 130 mark. Still looking for it to break to about 129.50 uh, ultimately, but it's going to bounce. We're going to see some bounce off those lows, so be ready for that. What I'm going to look for here on, on some of these lower levels is, uh, I guess 15-minute chart is probably the best one to look at. Below about 130.50, 55 area, I think we'll start to see some good selling opportunities. Above about 130.100, we should have a little bit of a buy opportunity, at least into this initial uh, resistance right here, about 131.30 and then possibly back into 131.50. So there's, you know, overall about 25 to 50 pips worth of, of movement here above 131.100. Uh, but if we don't get above there, and the reason we've got this so high above this consolidation is we don't want to get caught in the chop. This is still a pretty strong downtrend. However, if we get below this 130.50, we should be able to get this down into that 130 mark um, and finally, fi finally make some good headway down there. So we're keeping our eye on this channel. Uh, there should be some good pips in there, and we'll see where it goes. Um, pound dollars had some choppiness. Uh, we were watching it this morning. I wanted to get into it, and it would have been okay, actually. It just wouldn't have gone anywhere. Uh, but we opted not to. We decided to stay out of this and kind of let it run. Uh, this was from the notes in the UK session and so on last night. Here was our entry area, about 58.75 to sell. Um, and you can see that it kind of hopped around and chopped around there, but never really went too far against uh, that whole position. Ended up making a nice 50-plus pip run and ultimately sitting uh, just right around 50 pips below that level. Now the pound dollar, same thing. Lots of bank holidays going on. I just don't think we're going to have a ton of breakout movement. If this gets up above 158.50, which is not super far away. It might, might sound kind of far away, but it's about 25 pips away. Gets above that, I think we've got a chance to buy this towards 15900 You know, right around uh, 158.50 to 158.75, 80, 90, kind of in that general area. 25, 30, 40 pips uh, above this 158.50. So again, just lock in profit quickly uh, if we see a break, and uh, let's look at kind of trading that. On the sell side, it's a little bit choppy. I don't have an exact area that I want to get in. Probably just kind of below about 158.50 15 uh, should get us out of kind of this messy stuff that gets us below this little channel right here uh, and doesn't give us a lot of room to get into that low of 158 almost 15800 so I don't actually love a sell opportunity here below this trend line it might do something good 
but I I just don't know. I don't I don't think I'm going to take it. Is basically what I'm saying. Above 158.50, I'll take that, uh, and it could end up selling off nicely. So just watch this trend line. I'm not saying don't trade it. I'm just saying be very very careful because uh, I think there's just going to be a lot of chop. Euro yen, this thing was a champion. Uh, we took a sell at the break of 107.90. Most people got in about 84, 85, 86, right in that general area. You can see that it dropped just shy of 100 pips uh, from our entry. Uh, went about 95 pips, but ultimately did drop uh, a little over 100 pips uh, from where we were looking for the break. So very nice little run there. We're actually in a sell on the euro yen, and we have been for several hours. Uh, it's just kind of topping out here at 107, kind of 72, 73, um, and, and just kind of stays below this area. So it's still looking okay. It's basically sitting in our entry. It's actually, our, our entry is just about two or three pips better than where it's sitting. So we're at zero, just kind of sitting in this. Double topping here, looking for some nice continuation down. Uh, ultimately, I think it does need to get below this trend line to really give us some nice momentum there. And that's not super far. We need to get down to about kind of the 40 to 45 area and hopefully uh, if it doesn't bounce off that trend line we should see some nice movement however above 107.75 uh, we've we've got an easy opportunity to trade this into that 90 area which it could very easily retest so we're going to keep our eye on that uh, so look look at a break of 107.75 should be some nice pips into 107.90 10800 right in that general area so just keep an eye on that uh, pound yen, not really watching this one too much, but I just like this trend line. This thing is really scooting down this trend line right here. Test, 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 test. Um, so look for a crossover and a breakout. Uh, this thing gets back up above about 130.65. Uh, I think we could see some nice pips there. So, so just kind of watch for that general area and look for that breakout, and we could see some nice uh, upside movement on the pound yen. Aussie dollar is Chop City, and it's been Chop City. It's just been all over the place, uh, really up and down, up and down. We had some nice breakouts, but just very, very choppy. Uh, and again, we're coming into big holidays for Australia as well, and nobody's going to be uh, at the helm, so to speak, um, pushing uh, movement around there. Uh, so it could just be very slow and choppy for a lot of these pairs uh, until we see the news come out for non-farm payroll in the morning. But we'll keep an eye on it. Um, ultimately, I think below 102.85, the Aussie dollar gets interesting and is a good sell opportunity. Um, as far as a buy, I don't have a buy set on here, but above these highs-ish area uh, somewhere, I think about 103.20 to 25 uh, should be a good area to look um, to, to see if we can just kind of buy above these highs. But I don't, I don't love the buy opportunity on this one, but just look for the break of the highs. Uh, otherwise, look for a break of 102.85 to continue selling that one. And then gold, we're just watching gold here, about 16.30 to 35 area above that we should see some further retracement otherwise we get below this trend line which is going to be somewhere around the 1625 area look for this thing to continue down into uh, you know that 1610 and so on so just watch this we've got a nice little wedge forming here we're going to get a breakout either way so let's just be ready for it and see where things go uh, best of luck on everything guys I'll see you in the chat will be uh, I'll have notes posted tonight, but I'm not going to check in for the UK session. I think it's going to be pretty slow, but we will have a live US session tomorrow morning. If you would like to join us for that, go to my website, uh, which is uh, www.daytradersfx.com. You can get a free trial and join us for the non-farm payroll announcement tomorrow morning. Best of luck, guys. We'll see you there.